What is going on guys? My name is James, or Thanksia, and welcome to a, a kind of continuation video, I suppose, on the latest snapshot released by Mojang, which was 12W32A. And as I'm sure a lot of you know, I released a snapshot review on this, and I was talking about the new block, which looks like that. Oh, no, it looks like that. But uh, yeah, this is called the Beacon Block, I believe. However, at the time of making that video, there really wasn't any information available to me as I, I got it, you know, the video made fairly quickly. So uh, I had to guess as to what this block did. Now, I right clicked it in the video and talked a little bit about the primary and the secondary power options. Uh, and I was kind of semi right in that it sort of yeah it's it's enchantments for your player however i'd say now looking into it it's more like buffs or you know the buffs that you get which is kind of similar to the potions but yeah what we're going to do in this video is uh, kind of go into a bit more detail i suppose so i can explain it to you a little bit better now when actually looking into it these pyramids here are very important because these are what i'm going to call beacon pyramids and the shape of these really determine on how effective and efficient the beacon block is so uh, as you can see here we have nine blocks of diamond no we don't we have one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah we do have nine ah why do I doubt myself so much? But yeah, we have we have nine blocks of diamond, and what we do is we place the beacon block in the middle, and uh, yeah, as you can see, the beacons shine up in the sky, which is very impressive. But what it does now, when we click on it, it allows us to use these primary powers found in the tier one enchant, I'm going to call it. So here we have a choice of speed or haste. Now what we do if we wanted to choose one of these is we just click on it and it goes over to the secondary power option and then we can uh, you know, load in a diamond for example and then click on done. And then as you'll notice when you clear into your inventory, uh, there we go, uh, you'll see that the speed buff has been added to your character. Now, how these work is they effectively work in an AoE radius. So that's an area of effect, in case you don't know. And what it means is that I have to be within a certain number of blocks to this beacon in order for me to maintain having this buff. So I'm led to believe from the Wikipedia that the, the lower tier, which is 9 blocks, has a radius of 16 by 16. However, the big pyramid over there, which we're going to go to in a second, uh, has a radius of around 40 blocks by 40 blocks. Uh, don't hold me to that. I could be talking absolute rubbish, but I kind of think that that's the case. So, that is a level 1 enchantment tier thingy. Uh, as you can see, you can do them in 4 ores, so you can use iron, emerald, gold, and diamond. And what I think the system is, is iron, gold, diamond, and then emerald, and then depending on what you make them out of, and maybe what you fuel them with, it depends on how long the buffs last, how potent they are, etc. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm thinking that that might be the case. So here's, here's the second tier one. If we right click on that, no we don't. Let's break it in front of everyone. Let me try that again. If we right click on that, it allows us to choose the second tier buffs. So as you can see, the second one is available now. We have resistance and we have jump boost. So much, you know, much like the last one, we click on jump boost if we want it. We put some fuel into the beacon. We click on done and then we wait a second or two. And there we go. We have the jump boost, which makes us jump super high. Oop, I mean, I'm in creative mode there, so it doesn't matter. But yeah. Okay, so this is the third tier one, so we're going to click on this again. As you can see now, strength is available because we've built it up to the third tier. Going to stick a diamond in like so, click on strength, and then, you know, we can choose, uh, we can choose chop and change, whichever one we want. But we can only ever choose, uh, you know, the right-hand side one. We can't choose regeneration until we get to the fourth tier. So, uh, we're going to click on strength, going to click on done. Yeah, so now we have strength and we have jump boost. And uh, we have speed as well. And moving over to the final tier 4, if we go all the way to the top of this one, uh, we put in a diamond, and then we pick any of them, for example. I don't know, speed again. Now what we can do, because it's the fourth tier, we can actually pick regeneration. And I think that you can't pick regeneration on any of the other ones except the fourth tier. So we're going to pick on regeneration. Done. And then we're going to move away. And we're going to look at ourselves and see that we have a full sort of sidebar of really cool buffs and how this works really is if I stayed in this area for a while I'd be able to have all of these buffs pretty much permanently as long as I kept sort of fueling these beacons I imagine because I don't think they run out however because I've been here for a while and, and none of them have run out when I've been testing them however uh, maybe they do eventually but 
yeah, it kind of allows you this AoE style buffing experience, which would be kind of good for multiplayer, I think, uh, maybe even single player, but I don't know. Part of me wonders what the actual point of them are, I suppose, if we already have potions and enchanting. Uh, I suppose they're kind of RPG, they're a bit MMO-y as well, and I suppose they visually look really, really cool, and they are still in work in progress, remember, but uh, the point of them yet, for me, really... Ah, you're in a hole. <laughs> Oh, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm going to put you out of your misery. But, um... I, there he goes. But, yeah. Let me know what you think about this. What is your opinion? Do you think that they're good? Do you think that they're bad? Uh, any ideas that you think would be good to incorporate in them? Please write them in the comments. That would be awesome. But, yeah, that is it in a nutshell, I suppose, as to the beacon block. So, yeah, I hope this helped explain them a little bit. Uh, apologies if I've got anything wrong. Uh, I've kind of tried to work it out myself and read a little bit about it. But, uh, yeah, that is the beacon block. So, thank you very much for watching the video, guys. It has been a pleasure. As always, thanks and see ya.